I'd like to show you a uh, trick with a box and uh, two pieces of rope. I'd like you to examine the rope, if you would, sir. Make okay. sure it's an everyday piece of rope. You do the same. Make sure each rope has a middle and two ends. And if you would both hand me the middles, I would appreciate it. Great. Now, uh, middles, how would we link these together? Uh, the only way I can think of would be to take and drop one of the ends through the middle. That's how you would link them. Otherwise, they say it's impossible. But, if I were to place the middles of these two pieces of rope only through the inside of the box, the ends were in full view at all times. As the middles pass through this magic box, they actually pass through each other on the way through. Now you may look at that logically and think to yourselves, are they really linked? Or do they just look that way? Do these middles truly belong to these ends? Well, it doesn't really matter as long as the illusion is complete. The ropes are solidly linked together. So let's break this down for just a moment <clears throat> and place each piece of rope in one at a time. The white one goes in through the center. The red one goes through the center. Now you must admit that they are separate and apart. The middles are unlinked and if we look inside the box you can see that they are not together. The red piece passes through this side, the white piece passes through this side. Now, if you would help me for a moment, uh, take the magic wand if you would. See this little loop right here? I'm going to pull the loop down. I want you to put the wand right through that loop, pass it all the way through the other side. Just like that, perfect. And we'll just kind of cinch it down for just a minute, just like that. Now, if you hold on to this end and you hold on to these ends, a little bit of slack if you would, perfect. I'm going to place the red middle in first, the white in second. Don't move for just a second. I want you both to pull slowly on the ends of the ropes, slowly until you feel them stop. You feel the tension? The ropes are linked. Now you think to yourself, are they really linked or do they just feel that way? Is this some sort of a weird illusion? But then again, you can see <laughs> They are solidly linked together within the magic box. You can let go now. Now that's weird, isn't it? <laughs> it defies logic. It doesn't make much sense. You think to yourself, is it just a paradox? What is this? Well, I'll tell you what. The professor, Di Vernon, used to always say, simplicity is the best kind of magic. If we were to narrow it down to one piece of cord, and a ring. Would you please examine the ring? Make sure it's solid. It doesn't come apart. Okay? And what I'm going to do is place one rope through the box one last time. All the way through. Where's the middle of the rope? Right about there. So I'm going to move the middle of the rope to the inside of the box. These are the ends. Hear that sound? Mm -hmm. Listen. Did you hear the sound inside the box? Mm -hmm. <laughs> solid through solid. Jim, if you'll just reach in and pull that ring all the way out, make sure it's truly on that rope. That's it. Pull it all the way. Check it out carefully. You can look at the box, you can look at the ring, you can look at the ropes, and that's the effect. Unbelievable.